So I actually have a question for the men. Yeah. Okay. Um, I actually had a conversation with someone one day, and they were telling me that women bring the emotional support and the motivation to a man, and the man is always the provider. Do you believe in that statement? Yes or no? Honestly, you you are actually right. Um, I'll say this as well, just for relationship purposes, you know, for for guys, I feel like guys are going to be the ones killing the dragon, bringing home, you know, what I'm saying the meat, right? Making things happen, but the woman does support, um, emotionally in terms of like, if things go wrong in the house, they take care of the kids. It's kind of like they have like a role to play. So so do men, but I feel like for men, the main thing is that you have your foundation set. You're not shaky. You're, you're like a rock. And she could depend on you to be the man that you need to be. So Okay, I have a question now. Oh, wait. let, let um, oh, uh, Bob, you want to go next? Yeah. No, no, I agree with what you said. So that's why I didn't have anything um, to, to uh, I, I The only thing I disagree with is that um, men don't need women for motivation. As a matter of fact, it's if you have women as, as the motivation, you're going to fail. Um, because it, it needs to be an intrinsic sense of uh, motivation to become successful. Because if you do it for women... Oh, it, 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 that's fleeting. It's, well, I didn't mean it in like a way of, you know, us being like the motivator for you guys, because already you as men, you should already have that inside of you. Mm -hmm. But I meant it as in like family. Yeah, family. Oh, like okay. if you were to build a family, if you yeah. were to build in like that sense, yeah, that, know, in that sense, yeah, yeah. Like we'll to be probably... there for the kids, like to be a good role model. In yeah, and, and in that sense, we'll talk about that too. How a man really shows love. But yep. yes, um, okay. for sure. Like if you have a family, that's what's going to make you wake up at three in the morning and go work overtime. Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no stronger uh, motivator than to provide for a family for a man. That's just men are built to provide. And that's what we're built for. And it's very interesting because that's why we asked when you said, oh, well, I would support and I had to dis you know, get the distinction. Do you mean financially or do you mean like so, uh, emotionally? And you were like, well, financially, I was like, well, how long would that last? And you said, well, you know, for a period of time. But I, I think that's the fundamental difference between men and women. Men are comfortable supporting long term and provisioning. Right. We're built for that. Women are not. Like, yeah. if you lose your job, your girl will tolerate it for a little bit. But if she ends up paying all the bills for like a year or two, she at gone. some point, she's she going to be out. <laughs> she's gone. So, uh, so naturally, so yeah. do you feel like that's, that, like, as a man, like, do you feel like that's what you're here, not here for, but naturally, like, that's what's inside of you. Like, you feel like that's. M men are better providers you. than women are. Because we're built for it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like a woman can do it, but she can't do it long term. Okay. She's a, a, if if a woman provides for her man long term, it's inevitable that she's going to lose attraction for so him. So, what about leave. this day and age? Do you feel like it has changed, like the generational wise, like how we how how we've changed into society? Like, do you feel like you're that's asking changed? more than one question? But sorry, I, yeah. I, I, I will sorry. say I will say this: yes, things have changed yeah. significantly. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not changed for the better. Okay. Yeah. If anything, it's hurt families. Yep. Rotel, you had some? Technically you just answered it. <laughs> okay. Fair <laughs> sorry, enough. Yeah. Sorry. Fair I, enough. Do, did you remember your question? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, go ahead. I was going to ask how you would feel if the woman was like actually okay, like providing for you, like providing for the family and making like significantly more money than you. Um, you know, that that sounds good on paper, but communism did I mean, too, and that didn't no, work. No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so, but it does happen, though, sometimes. Like where very, the, very rarely. Very is, rarely, but I'm asking you like how you would feel, here, or the men would, here would feel. Honestly, like in that scenario, I wouldn't even be there. Yeah. Could, do you want to feel like you're the one that is the one that is providing? Because that, whoever pays set, sets the tone for, for the uh, relationship. Yep. So they set the frame. So as a guy... If my chick is taking care of me, I don't feel like a man. So you want to mm. feel like you're the dominant? No, no, I don't. It's more, it's more like, for example, like my legacy and my my life is going to be built off of like my labor and my foundation. So I don't want to say, hey, you know what, my girl, like, yo, take care of the house because I can't do it. If I can do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna let her do it at all. Right. Yeah, I I completely understand that, but I was just like asking like how someone or like as a man would feel like if you're wife is inevitably making a lot more money than you are. Uh, like, you want to talk about that one? Um, I, I don't mind. You can make as yeah? much money as you want. Because yeah. I, I feel like that would like make, like if you're making a lot of money and your wife is making a lot of money too, then like. Uh, here's the problem. That okay? works out. Here, here's, like a, here's the real reason why most folks, listen, uh -huh. why I probably wouldn't like it. Yeah. If you yeah, got to yeah. work that much and make that I much mean, money, that means you're not going to be there to raise the kids. Right. And at the end of the day, me, I really enjoy working. I'm really focused on what I do. I understand she makes more and I respect that. Do your thing. But, you know, if you want a wife who's going to be at home with the kids, one of the parents has to spend a lot of time there. Someone's going to have to be on the back burner when it comes to her. I'd prefer to be my wife. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't like it. 
if you can work two hours and make a billion dollars and f- sure, go, go right? do your thing i got no problem yeah. with that but for me personally i would like somebody to be at home with the kids when i'm not able to be there yeah. i was just wondering switch. Yeah, I'll just I'll just add my little point in the reason why I don't like it is because I know how women think. And the thing is, is that the, the unfortunate reality when it comes to dealing with women is a woman must respect you first before yep. anything. Mm-hmm. And, and for and for her to love you, she's got to respect you. Men don't necessarily operate that way. You guys love very differently than we'll, than how we do. Mm-hmm. We can have a discussion about that later on. But the thing I understand is that for a woman to love you, she's got to respect you first. If a woman out earns you or is higher than you on a socioeconomic level or to, to some degree, I'm not saying it's always going to happen, but there's an increased likelihood that she's going to lose attraction for you, which then is going to turn into loss of arousal for you and then eventually leave you. You know what I'm saying? Men are content with dating down. Women are not a lot of the time. So yeah. understanding like these, you know, we could say all the social constructs we want of men and women are equal and I'm, I'm a boss babe and all this other stuff. You know, my boy Donovan Sharp just commented below and I agree with him. Times change, instincts don't. Women, human beings are hardwired to be a certain way for millions of years right. and women are hardwired a certain way to look for survival skills. So I'm not saying I wouldn't date a woman that makes more money than me. But what I am saying is that I know that more than likely that relationship is going to fail. Of course. Yeah. And I for, just, and for example, every girl we, ha- we had on the show that did that, the OnlyFans girls, yeah. the strippers that took care of their men. We asked them, are you single now? Yes. Yeah. And it's they always, always broke it off. They always broke it off. Yeah. Always. Like I they'll mean, say, I'll do it. But what women say and what they do are two different things. I don't mean to be an asshole, but like it's politically incorrect for a woman to say, I'm going to leave a guy when he's when he's broke. So they'll make it work to kind of like appease the masses or they'll say that. But every single time a girl out earned her guy or she was supporting him, we would ask, are you with him now? And she'd be like, no. I was like, did you break it off? Yeah, I did. You know, and then they'll say something else. Oh, he lost ambition, blah, blah, blah. It's all a translation for he couldn't provide anymore. Of course. Right. Yeah, I'm just it's just coming from a perspective of like um, someone who didn't have a male like figure in their lives you know someone that didn't have like that that you know usually like the traditional family has like the man that yeah, earns and how, usually how a lot of women how, though how old are you i'm 20 i'm 21 but a lot Harvey, of you got mad time you, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, no no, no i'm just i'm just asking because I, 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 I get what you're saying what i'm, what I'm just saying no, yeah. brief. it's just like for a lot of young ladies you guys are going to see it's going to change a lot yeah. from when you're 21 to yeah. 31 and you could probably chime in on this what you wanted when you were much younger, your views are completely different now. I like, can't wait to talk. So, <laughs> so, 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 so I get sorry. it. And you might have like these nervousness. Just give yourself some time. You're going to see why your standards are going to change. Cool. So, no, of right, course. Wendy, because yeah. uh, we, got, we, got, we got a big panel right now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll Wendy, keep going. What's, yep. your, what's your question? So my question, um, actually, I'm very curious because previously you've mentioned that 1% of men, which is what most women want, um, they need to be comfortable sharing men. Right. And I'm well, you've been watching the show. Oh, uh, I've been watching the <laughs> show. I'm not gonna come unprepared and get kicked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But hear Smart me out. Point. I'm actually no, no, no. For sure. Go ahead. Uh, I'm actually um I'm open minded. I'm super open minded, but I wanna know a little bit more about what that lifestyle looks like to you. What are the terms like 